Round one begins. Will Winky Wright technically and heavier? Left took by Taylor. Wright steps over to the side. Two more right hands from Taylor. The last two are also blocked. Is batter him on the arms until he doesn't want to hold him in front of himself like a fortress. The dude is, he's stepping right into Jermaine Taylor. He wants oh. to get right in there. Taylor lands a right hand across the top. Taylor's power might have been evident there. Right with a short right hook. Left hand inside for right. Right hand for Taylor. Two right now, he's keeping that right hand up and he's stepping forward. He doesn't have too far to go when it leaves his face. It doesn't have too far to go to Jermaine. Using that jab, great. Right landed four straight jabs with Taylor's hands held too low. Tight seven years ago. But he doesn't, he may be shorter, Jim. That Taylor is stronger than him the way he's coming straight at Taylor. Taylor takes a left hand from right. And another left hand from right. Winky's been very accurate. And very well. Taylor banging away against the guard. Gets a right hand in. And another right hand. Firing back, Wright's tactic worked in round two. So should he attack Winky and make Winky back? Let him come forward and then set a trap for him and throw a punch. Much more effective then. Wright landed one shot in return. But now it's Taylor who's throwing combinations. And Taylor starts to land power shots. Wright landed already been blunted in the first minute of round three by Taylor. But now, and Taylor backs off. Comes back with a combination of his own. And another. That was a hard right hand. Straight. But Winky is staying too close to him to allow him to do that. Right. Jam. And steps out of the corner. Right. And a hard right hand down the pipe. Right feels the need. Jab lands for right. First try that put Jeremy Taylor definitely up for them. But in round two and three, Jeremy Taylor's fight the kind of fight forward. Winky's backing him up, walking him down, and doing that. Right jab, straight left hand. Two to one. Jermaine Taylor banging away twice with the right hand. Because he was dropping it and getting hit with, over it so often. Taylor on the defensive in the corner. Taylor needs to stay out of the corners where Wright lands more punches and blunts his offense will be a factor down the stretch in this fight. Hard left hand for right. Hard right hand for Taylor. And Taylor fires five. Jermaine Taylor extremely aggressive in round four. Body shots landing. He is... That's about as bad a round as I've ever seen. Is even. ...inside the realm of reality. I'm not sure that Winky... ...of a young, hungry, athletic kid like Taylor thinks. Harry, I remember something you said about a young heavyweight named Lennox Lewis a long time ago. Sure, he's got chin corner. This has become a pattern throughout the fight. Wright lets his hands go, backs Taylor into the corner again. Wright landed a straight shot upstairs and a body shot. Taylor actually blocked the right shot there, but now he takes four or five punches in a row. So that's what, he's really in a dangerous position right now. Another technician's round. Body shot by Taylor. They believe they're going to wear Winky right down. can fight him here and do pretty well. His distance, how to keep his distance and when to throw punches inside the distance. Basically alternating rounds though because just as clearly as the last round belonged to right, this round belongs to and is taking shots in the center of the ring. Boom! Big right hand for Taylor. Right feels a need to... Let him go, let him go. See if Wright will try to rally down the strength. He can get anything done. Been a clinch and the Winky right. I got it all even. 57th Jeremy Taylor may take over this and the punch.
punching power, and he has hurt right badly with a right hand in this round. Now Winky lets his hands go again. But Taylor's greater strength seems to be becoming a factor in the fight. His body shots move right. Right going, or Taylor going back to that right hand. And now Wright gets him into his feet are all over the place. Does have a balance problem. Once he gets that sorted, he'll be a better fighter. What is Dan Burn? By CompuBox count, Jermaine Taylor has never taken as many punches as he's taken in less than seven rounds from Winky Wright. But he's banging Wright with his right hand and moving. And Jermaine Taylor punch off. All of a sudden, Jermaine Taylor. Wright drives Taylor into the corner. Taylor got a lazy start. Wright sticks him with the jab again, nails him in the corner, and begins to go to work. And now Taylor begins to throw his jab. After Taylor uses his jab, something he hasn't been doing in this position, and blocks a couple of shots. Stars, and you're in a, in a, in okay, a club hand, that's got a renowned name. Got through it. Now Winky Wright tries to put him in jail in the corner again and land the punches that have run. 11 unanswered punches by Wright. Now well, there's six or seven unanswered by Taylor. Now Taylor's got the shots there. Not a good position for him. Hard left hand lands for Wright. Saved him a couple times against Hopkins when he appeared to be in trouble. Another left hook lands for Taylor. Winky Wright gets in a little right hook. Both fighters seem to be getting your clash of heads. Started off first. Always start off first. Taylor's vision could be compromised down the stretch out of the left eye. Significant because, of course, that's the lead eye against him to set it up as a jab. He lands it more frequently. Winky goes to the body shots as he gets Jermaine in the corner. Now Flurry's up to right, shakes his head. That always means he landed. Good left hook by Taylor. Right has to come back. The reason why that eye is closing is because of Winky Wright's right jab. That's always effective and that's always getting in there. Taylor firing his right hand and lands it twice. Third big right hand. Wright lands his jab. As long as he stays in the middle of the ring, he's done well, but here he goes back on the ropes. And puts his now finds himself in the corner again. Very precarious and bangs his way out. Wright looks for his opportunities. Doesn't throw as freely as he has sometimes in the past. That's because of those this round. Now Wright goes to work to the body and... Good fight, Lennox. Yeah, absolutely. Both fighters showing great determination. Never seen Winky Wright's face look like this. And I haven't seen Taylor's face. Another right hand backs right off. Big round for Taylor. Dead even on his car. They bang head Taylor with a thoroughly closed left eye. Of course, we remember him. And Hopkins. Taylor had that bad cut up. to get off the ropes because this is where Winky Wright has the advantage. Right up with his power. Now blood begins to stream from the right nostril of Jermaine Taylor. No way to, to know it. Both fighters tiring. Had that very unusual style of coming forward behind him. Right, Taylor, Taylor has to definitely keep his feet under him. Very important. He's up for grabs. What a fight. We got three minutes to go. There should be a war of fists for Taylor. He's got to come back. Taylor, who's not throwing. He realizes Taylor's not going to hold on to the middleweight championship or whether Winky Wright's going to take it away. And now Taylor goes to work and bangs. But I think he needs to really step in there. He needs to get Jermaine Taylor on. Now. Winky, Winky feels that he has this fight to win that last round like his corner said. I think he just gave Taylor the 12th round. If he gave Taylor the 12th... 114, 114, a three-way split. This bout is a draw.